America has had a crazy few decades of presidencies, but what's even more juicy is the love lives of these presidents, from marriages to scandals to that one psycho conspiracy theory about Michelle Obama. Let's take a look at them through the lens of AI. Excuse me, where's the lobby? Down the hall and grab him by the pussy. Thanks. George Washington married Martha Dandridge Custis, a wealthy widow, in 1759. Their marriage was generally seen as happy and supportive, although they had no children together. Martha Washington often played a supportive role in her husband's political life. John Adams married Abigail Smith in 1764. Theirs was a marriage of equals with strong intellectual and emotional bonds. They had five children together, one of whom, John Quincy Adams, would later become president. Thomas Jefferson's first wife, Martha Wales Skelton, died in 1782, long before Jefferson's presidency. They had six children, four out of which died before adulthood. Jeffrey went on to have a relationship with Sally Hemings, a slave on his plantation. This sparked a major controversy during his presidency. He had a long-term relationship with Hemings and fathered six of her children. James Madison married Dolly Payne Todd, an extravagant widow, in 1794. Dolly Madison was highly sociable, and her receptions and gatherings became a staple of Washington society. Her charm and hospitality were a significant asset to Madison's political career. Another James, James Monroe, but a different type of wife in Elizabeth. Elizabeth Monroe was noted for her elegance and sophistication, but she was also more reserved than her predecessor, Dolly Madison. Monroe's presidency was marked by the era of good feelings, John Quincy Adams was married to Louisa Johnson, the only first lady born outside of the United States. The couple had a rocky relationship and faced numerous hardships, including the loss of multiple children. Andrew Jackson married Rachel Donaldson, who was legally still married to her first husband at the time of their union. This caused a significant scandal that was used against Jackson in his presidential campaign. Rachel died shortly before Jackson's inauguration. Martin Van Buren was married to Hannah Hose. They were childhood sweethearts and had a happy marriage until her death in 1819. Van Buren never remarried and his daughter-in-law, Angelique Singleton Van Buren, fulfilled the role of first lady during his presidency. William Henry Harrison was married to Anna Tutil Sims. They had a stable, albeit largely private, relationship with a whopping ten children. Harrison died just 31 days after his inauguration, going down in history as the United States' briefest presidency. John Tyler had two wives during his lifetime. His first wife, Letitia Christian, died while he was in office, and he later married Julia Gardner. Tyler was the first president to marry while in office. James K. Polk was married to Sarah Childress. They had a supportive relationship, and she actively helped him with his political career. They had no children. Sudden death, Zachary Taylor married Margaret Peggy McCall Smith, and they had six children. His was a brief presidency, which ended with his sudden death in office. Millard Fillmore had two marriages, first to Abigail Powers, his former teacher. After Abigail's death, Fillmore remarried. His second wife, Caroline McIntosh, was a wealthy widow. Franklin Pierce was married to Jane Appleton. Their relationship was marked by personal tragedy as all three of their sons died young. Jane Pierce hated politics, and her unhappiness increased when her husband became president. James Buchanan's a bit of a sad story. He was the only U.S. president who never married. He was once engaged to Ann Coleman, but their engagement was broken off. She overdosed shortly after their tiff, which led to much speculation. Buchanan's niece, Harriet Lane, assumed the duties of the First Lady during his presidency. Abraham Lincoln was married to Mary Todd, and they had four sons together. Their relationship had both highs and lows, and they suffered the loss of two of their children during Lincoln's lifetime. Andrew Johnson was married to Eliza McCardle. Despite not having formal education, Eliza helped Johnson improve his reading and math skills, and she supported his political career. Ulysses Grant was married to Julia Dent, and they had four children. Their marriage was a loving one, and Julia often joined Grant on his military postings. Rutherford B. Hayes was married to Lucy Webb. Lucy was the first First Lady to have a college degree. The Hayseys banned alcohol from the White House, earning Lucy the nickname Lemonade Lucy. James A. Garfield was married to Lucretia Rudolph. Their relationship, which began as a friendship, grew into a strong and supportive marriage. Garfield's presidency was cut short by his assassination. Chester A. Arthur was married to Ellen Nell Lewis Herndon, with whom he had three children. Ellen died of pneumonia before Arthur assumed the presidency. During his time in office, his sister Mary Arthur performed the duties of the First Lady. Grover Cleveland, well, he had a crazy ex. He was accused of the R word by Maria Halpin, who was later committed to an institution. She allegedly bore him a son, which sparked a scandal during his campaign, leading to the infamous chant, Ma, Ma, where's my pa? Despite the scandal, Cleveland won the election, prompting his supporters to add, gone to the White House. Ha ha ha. He married Frances Folsom during his first term, becoming the only president to marry in the White House. He served two non-consecutive terms, still married to Frances in his second. Benjamin Harrison. This one took family a little over the top. He was married twice, first to Caroline Scott, who died during his presidency, then to her niece, Mary Dimmick. This, of course, caused some family tension. 
William McKinley was married to Ida Saxton, and they had two daughters, both of whom died young. Ida suffered from various health problems, and McKinley was noted for his devoted care for her. Theodore Roosevelt was married twice. His first wife, Alice Hathaway Lee, tragically died shortly after the birth of their only child. He later married Edith Kermit Garrow. William Howard Taft was married to Helen Nellie Herron, and they had three children. Nellie was Taft's biggest cheerleader. She pushed him towards running for president. Woodrow Wilson was married twice. His first wife, Ellen Axon Wilson, died during his first term as president. Wilson later married Edith Bolingalt. After Wilson suffered a stroke, Edith practically became the president herself as she took up a large part of his administrative roles. Warren G. Harding holds the record of the first president of the United States who had a child by an extramarital affair. While he was married to Florence Kling DeWolf, he had an affair with a woman named Nan Britton. She was 31 years younger than him. At the time, there was no way to confirm if he was the father of her daughter and the legitimacy of her child was only confirmed much recently in 2015. Calvin Coolidge was married to Grace Anna Goodhue, and they had two sons. Grace was a supportive and popular first lady. Tragically, their younger son, Calvin Jr., died during Coolidge's presidency. Herbert Hoover was married to Liu Henry, and they had two sons. The couple met while studying at Stanford University and shared a love of the outdoors. Blood may not be thicker than water, after all, in the case of Franklin D. Roosevelt. He married his cousin, Eleanor Roosevelt. She busted him for having an affair with her secretary, Lucy Mercer, early in their marriage. They remained married due to political reasons, and both had relationships with others. Eleanor Roosevelt remains one of the most prominent historical figures to this day. Harry S. Truman was married to Bess Wallace, and they had one daughter. Bess was a private first lady and disliked the lack of privacy that came with life in the White House. Dwight D. Eisenhower was married to Mommy Geneva Dowd. During World War II, rumors circulated about a relationship between Eisenhower and his driver, Kay Summersby, but these rumors were never confirmed, although Kay herself claimed she was the love of his life and that he was going to divorce his wife for her. John F. Kennedy's presidency was marked by numerous alleged extramarital affairs with famous figures such as Marilyn Monroe. He was married to Jacqueline Bouvier. Lyndon B. Johnson was married to Claudia Alta Ladybird Taylor. Johnson had several alleged extramarital affairs with ladies, namely Alice Glass, Helen Gahagan Douglas, and Madeline Brown. These were all denied by his family. Richard Nixon was married to Thelma Pat Ryan, and they had two daughters. Despite the controversies of Nixon's political life, including his resignation from the presidency, they remained married until his death in 1994. Gerald Ford was married to Elizabeth Betty Bloomer, and they had four children. Jimmy Carter has been married to Rosalind Smith since 1946. He admitted in a Playboy interview to having lusted in his heart for women other than his wife. Ronald Reagan was the first U.S. president to be once divorced. He was first married to actress Jane Wyman, and they had three children. They got divorced in 1949. Reagan later married Nancy Davis in 1952, and they had two children. George Bush was married to Barbara Pierce. Their long and supportive marriage lasted 73 years until Barbara's death in 2018. They faced a personal tragedy when their daughter Robin died of leukemia at the age of three. Bill, well, he had a memorable presidency with notable achievements in education, welfare, sleeping with interns, and lying about it. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. Bill Clinton is married to Hillary Rodham, and they have one daughter, Chelsea. His presidency was marred by a major scandal involving a sexual relationship with a White House intern, Monica Lewinsky. The scandal led to Clinton's impeachment by the House of Representatives in 1998, although he was acquitted by the Senate in 1999. George W. Bush is married to Laura Welch, and they have twin daughters, Jenna and Barbara. Barack Obama is married to Michelle Robinson, and they have two daughters, Malia and Sasha. The Obamas have frequently spoken about their strong partnership and commitment to their family despite the pressures of political life. Although some talk had surfaced online about Michelle Obama being a trans woman with the birth name Michael. Oh, no, Michelle is a trans. I'm sorry, she's a what? A transgender. There is no evidence to back these ridiculous claims. I love China. Donald Trump has been married three times to Ivana Trump, Marla Maples, and currently to Melania Trump. Allegations of extramarital affairs and sexual misconduct have been made against Trump, including during his presidency. Joe Biden has been married twice. His first wife was Nelia Hunter, and they had three children together. Tragically, Nelia and their one-year-old daughter, Naomi, died in a car accident in 1972. Biden's two sons, Bo and Hunter, survived the accident. Biden later married Jill Jacobs in 1977, and they have one daughter, Ashley.